Ayo, Yokso, which means welcome if you're new. I'm glad you're here because we need to talk about XR glasses that talk big game, like a 150 inch screen, 200 inch screen, 50 degrees field of view. What do these things even mean? So let's talk about three things that nobody seems to be talking about. All right, so here's the first one. You may have seen a few thumbnails with someone looking very surprised looking at a massive screen in front of them. And that's not exactly what you see, but the closest thing to it is like looking at a projector. And the reason for that is because it's way too difficult to capture what the real experience is like looking through these glasses. It's kind of like riding a roller coaster or VR, if you will. If you've experienced either of these things, you know that you can't really get the full experience just watching it on a video. And while I have tried my best to capture the through the lens viewing experience on some of my comparative videos, I would say the most realistic experience is like being in a movie theater or watching a projector. And that's what I'm showing you up on screen here. This is a 100 inch image projected onto a 128 inch screen. As you can see, the image isn't very good because this is not a super high quality projector when the lights are on. And that's because I have a lot of ambient light. But as soon as I turn off the lights, the image gets significantly better and it's a pretty enjoyable experience. And here's one big thing nobody seems to be talking about. Any of the modern XR glasses like the Vitor Luma Pros or the Vitor XR Pros or even the Ray Neo Air 3S Pros will deliver a more significant and improved image over this projector, but it's going to be a solo experience with very few exceptions. I won't soapbox about that, but I will talk now about that 150 inches or 200 inches that I mentioned earlier. When I throw on the glasses, you can see here that it is in fact smaller than that 100 inch image on screen. And why is that? While I'm sitting about nine feet away from the wall, and I'll explain the size difference a little bit later, what I want you to notice here though is how much punchier and brighter that image is inside of the glasses. Those are the Rayneo Air 3S Pros, by the way. So that's what it looks like inside the lenses. But what about the FOV? These are bigger number better type situations where nobody seems to really talk about what those numbers exactly mean. I'm gonna try my best to explain this while showing you a visual of what you can expect inside of these XR glasses. I fully believe that sometime in the future, maybe years from now, if you happen to catch this video, that we will have much larger FOVs inside of glasses like these. I don't think they're ever gonna replace something like a VR headset, especially if a VR headset gets super light and thin. But you know, that is something that's still relevant for right now for a completely virtual and non-mixed or augmented reality situation. All right, enough babbling. So what you see inside of these glasses when you put them on is basically this cutout square, the cutout square which will show you whatever the glasses are connected to. Everything else around the cutout square will be what your bare or naked eyes will see. So if you look on the screen and you see on the outside, that's the lens glasses frame itself. Everything inside there is the background and the connected image. That would be your video or your game. And the reason why this is important is because glasses like the X-Real 1, 1 Pro, and the Vitor Beast don't have the ability to move that image outside of that middle cutout. And so what you end up getting is part of your image that gets cut off when you decide to pin it up in space. Now I'm probably explaining this poorly, so if you've got a better way to explain it, please do leave me a comment down below. Now, the last thing that nobody seems to talk about when it comes to these XR glasses is perhaps the trickiest one. I'm no doctor, but what I've found in using these glasses and from reading your comments below, there is a little bit of trickery to them. And this is how we achieve that 150 inches or 200 inch screen. Let me show you by demonstration. I'm gonna do this with demonstrating this awesome new cabinet I got courtesy of Sedata. Yes, they did sponsor this video, but I want you to know that this has a genuine purpose here. And here you're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Notice here that this image here, when it's in front of this cabinet, and when I move further away and closer to the cabinet, how the image seems to get smaller in your view. Even though objectively, the video hasn't really changed size. Meaning that the image in the lens hasn't changed, but what you see seems to change based on what's in the background. Do you notice that? Let me show it a little bit better here when I put the Nintendo Switch in the background and you can see what I'm talking about. So this is this kind of perspective that I'm mentioning here. Notice how much smaller it looks next to a known physical object. This is kind of the power of your brain has. Really tricky, right? Now look what happens when I look further up, up away from the wall, up away from a known object. And you'll see here that it just looks way bigger. But again, the image in the lens has not changed, right? 
And things get even more complicated when you decide to turn on the lens shade. Now notice that this image's size doesn't really change at all because everything is kind of blacked out. Your brain doesn't really have all that information unless you're looking off to the side and kind of cheating here. And then again, you'll notice the image suddenly seems to get bigger as I walk further away from the wall. And as I get closer to the wall, look how it looks like it shrinks. Remember though, that that image in, inside the lens is not changing in size. It's just what you're seeing around it. Crazy, right? Just like the craziness that is this awesome cabinet. It's got cool RGB modes, and you can actually see this featured on the podcast that I'm a part of on Handhelds United. Otherwise, uh, Clef is going to call me a liar for not being like an, an XR shill. Yeah, I got my, my shill shelf right back there. You know, like... And did I mention that shield shelf can hold all of your handhelds as well as your Nintendo Switch cartridges, your Vitor Pro neck bands, and even your other XR glasses that I haven't mentioned in this video. And on top of that, there's all of these RGB modes, which truthfully, there's way too many for me. So I'm just going to stick with the static blue, but Hey, you do you and make sure you check the links in the description below for a discount and to support the channel. Every single dollar that I get from your help goes right back into this channel. So thanks again to Sedeta for sponsoring this video. And thanks to you for clicking on it. Okay, so you know how at the beginning I said that there were three big things that nobody talks about? I lied. There's a fourth one I noticed no one talking about, and that is that all of these lenses seem to be slightly shaded. So you absolutely can use them for productivity, like I mentioned in a previous video, but it's not going to be the same as using regular glasses because they all are slightly tinted. And while this might not affect you if you're in a well-lit environment, remember that if you're in a darker space, it's going to look like the entire lens is darkened. And that means that things like the monitors in the lenses themselves might be smaller looking than they actually could be if you're sitting further away from the wall. There is one last catch with that, and that is dependent on the glasses you're using themselves. Like if you're using the Vitor ones, they have Spacewalker to give you multiple monitors, but that's a video for another day. But I'm curious to know if you even use any software with your XR glasses. Anyway, these are just a few things I noticed nobody really talking about when it comes to these display glasses. Did you like the video? If you found something useful, please consider leaving a like and a comment below. And if I got everything completely wrong, leave me a comment as to why as well. And while you're at it, get yourself some. <laughs> Oh, 모르지 잘 모르겠죠. 좋다. <웃음> 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 <웃음>